And there's Tierra Brown. And she's settling into her blocks. And just one mention of Ryan Crace out in lane number seven. She's leading the heptathlon, had to come over to this race from the Javelin. Also an outstanding competitor. So we are set for the women's 400 meter hurdles. And this is a very patterned race, and each woman has to stay within her pattern. Right now, Tierra Brown moving very well. There she is on the right side of your screen of Miami, already moving well. Take a look at how smooth she is between the hurdles. And Brown has got the lead right now, first to that hurdle. And she looks very, very comfortable here. LSU not moving well. That's Cassandra Tate just to Tierra Brown's right. Again, it's Brown. Turquoise Thompson from UCLA also in the mix. Tierra Brown has got the lead. Will she hold up for the national title? It's Brown pumping, and she's got it. Turquoise Thompson very tight. And it is Brown, and that was a fantastic race down at the end. Tierra Brown went out extremely well, but really struggled on the third 100 of the race, but she was able to hold on at the end. On the back stretch right here, Tierra Brown looks fantastic. She's already made up the standard on Cassandra Tate of LSU. Look at how smooth she is through the hurdle. She's got her steps down very pat right here and looks like she is well in control of the race, but the race really turned around when it came off of that last turn right there, she stutter steps a little bit and let a few of the other athletes, including Turquoise Thompson, back into the race right here. There you have Turquoise Thompson from UCLA. Ryan Crease right there from Kansas State also there. But right here, Tierra Brown gets over that last hurdle very well, and she is able to dig deep and pull off of this race because it was very close. Right here, Tierra Brown looks good. But this is the important hurdle for her. She's able to get over that last hurdle and take a look at her face. She grits and digs deep for that last few hundred meters towards the tape. In the rain, it's Brown victorious as we check in with Dan. All right, guys, Sierra, let's talk first about the conditions. We had the big delay. Did the delay affect you at all? Not really. Um, I knew what I had to do in order to keep myself warm. I was back there, Carson and Coach Dean. She basically just kept my mind right, listened to my music, did what I had to do, basically. When they said sweats off and you stepped up to the blocks, it was pouring rain, but you didn't blink. It didn't look like the rain was affecting you. You weren't going to let it today, were you? I mean, at this point, 30 minute delay, why not let it rain? It really didn't matter. I ran it rain before, so I'm just happy I got the win. All right, second last year. She's a national champ this year, guys. Congratulations, Tierra Brown. Hey, Mom. <laughs> well, I think Tierra's mom is going to be happy with the result. By the slightest of margins, you have to go to one hundredths of a second to crown a champion of the women's 400 meter hurdles over Turquoise Thompson from UCLA. And there is Ryan Crace. Strong effort to finish third. <laughs> Heading back to the heptathlon. That's her reward. Tierra Brown wins the women's 400-meter hurdles in Des Moines.